wondering what's happening. In a short moment's time, we're going to have someone familiar to join us as we bring forth to you episode 8 of What Job Cooking. And if you have been viewing with us at home, big thank you once again for joining us. And right about now, we'd like to bring on board once again our sport dietitian from Singapore Sport Institute. This is Cheryl Teo. Welcome Hello. back. Hello. Nice to be back. Wow, it's been a few episodes since you've been missing action. And we're just curious about what you have been up to over the last few days. Yeah, I've been pretty busy. So, of course, cooking. Um, but on top of that, we're also doing work. So, I speak to my athletes online, organizing workshops online. So yeah, pretty easy. So very much still on the face of staying at home because of the circuit breaker. But we are always playing forward and hoping to bring forth to you amazing recipes that you will continue trying out at home. Now coming up next is a legend on board. Now I would like to call him our taller version of Singapore's very own Gopi Ramsey. And of course we're going to have on board with us right now, Alexander Durek, our former national football player. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you, my man. Wow. Meeting a legend in person, this is amazing, I tell you. Now, uh, if you are a former national football player, I am the messy in the kitchen. Very messy. <laughs> I'm always messy, you know, Trevor knows that, right? <laughs> but Derek, talking about this one, do you cook? Actually, yes, I, uh, I like cooking and um, I'm really glad I'm here. I'm going to actually learn more about cooking. Um, I'm a very amateur cooker. Don't worry, I'm the same and it's been quite a number <laughs> of episodes. I'm still learning every step of the way. But you know, being a football player yourself, and of course being so active in the scene, how has the circuit breaker you know, affected you at this point? Well, basically, um, I'm um, principal of the football academy, it's called uh, Aktiveji Football Academy. Uh, I um, have about uh, what, nearly 2,000 kids in, uh, from age 3 to up to 16 years old, so I'm uh, quite busy on online coaching with my coaches. We're trying to reach as many of these kids as uh, possible in, in home and uh, give them some uh, homework, with, uh, skill drills and all this. And uh, we do a live also session, so it's, uh, it's quite busy uh, for me also. So you're imparting skills now, but you know children, you know, your kids don't you have, you have on the way. So we can learn from you at this yeah, point. Yeah. The children with the home-based learning formats, are, are they difficult to communicate with? Actually, it's... Um, it took us some while, uh, while uh, to, to get uh, get used to, but now, but it's uh, with uh, all this, uh, I guess, all the technology these days, the all kids have phones and all this is uh, quite easy. And um, all we need is a small iPhone or anything like that, put it on the side, and as long as they can see uh, your body and the leg down, what you're doing with the ball, it's, it's quite quite simple, become very simple. So the kids is very much engaged, uh, they love it. Um, we also have uh, some session with the parents and uh, kids with the home, so they're all kind of engaged. And, uh, it's fun to watch them, to be honest. And I hear so much passion coming up. And you know, one thing we have to be really thankful about is that in Singapore, we are so advanced in technology that we get this seamless connection to people, even though we are not present in person, but still in touch and able to impart knowledge and skills, just like our show right now. So, are you a greens person? Do you like to eat vegetables? Actually, uh, yes, I was a uh, vegetarian for Many years when I was my playing time, I would really look after my diet. So one of the one of the biggest things I was yogi guy and um, I eat a lot of vegeta uh, vegetables. So it's and, a strict uh, diet that you follow to keep yourself in yes. like the top yes. form, right? Still, 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 um, I still look after uh, what I eat and still look after um, all this. Uh, even I'm retirement, but I'm still kind of sport took my life. I mean, you look fantastic. And Cheryl, today, you know, when it comes to soccer, it's always about position, movement, speed. So what kind of recipe are you going to present to our viewers today? So today's recipe is to be all about your eye health. Oh, I need eye health. Can you see my eyes? But, you know, Derek, is it important to have, like, good eyesight when you're on the field? Because, you know, you've got, like, two leaders and boss coming at you, you're like, me, half blind. <laughs> very important. Very, very important to have sharp eyes and, uh, and um, Good mind, on, I mean, of course, but the body has to be really good shape. So it's actually a combination of everything. Very much. Wow. Yes. And we haven't really touched on. Okay, I've always used eye power on this show. <laughs> but today is all about the eyes. So, what is the first recipe that we're going to have for this episode? Okay, so the first thing we're going to make is a goji berry jam. Oh, goji berry. I, I know, do you know about goji berry? Uh, I know about berries. I'm not sure about gojis. Also, oh, basically, goji. what we have heard is that goji berries are exceptionally good for your eyes, right? Mm, yes, it's very rich in this mm. carotenoid, it's called lutein and zeaxanthin. Sounds like a What did you just say? 
Lupin and Zero Dentin. So right. they are Lupin. carotenoids that are in oh, the okay, retina. Oh, okay, the eyes. Okay. Uh, connected mm, to the, the eyes. eyes. So it's just good for the eyes. Yeah, good for the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a rhyme over there. Just say good for the eyes, don't worry. Okay, okay. <laughs> good for the eyes. Eat more goji berries. Okay. But um, that's not the only item that we've got. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to showcase a couple of two other recipes. So another one is a salad um, that we're going to use also Vegetables that are very, very rich in such carotenoids, um, carotenoids and also uh, roasted pumpkin soup. Ooh. So, just to save time... Sounds delicious, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, just to save time, um, I like to start on the roasting of the pumpkin first. Oh, okay. Um, and also because I've, I've prepped some broccoli and additional pumpkin to go in the salad. So, I'll, since my oven is on, I'm on, so... Oh, yeah, just nice. You had a peep peep, which means something is yes, ready. So, you want to heat up your oven? No, my oven is heated. Oh. I want to prep this so that it can go in. So, what we're going to do... Um, Alex, could you help me just um, add some olive oil, salt and pepper? Drizzle and it over, huh? Mix it around. Okay, well, the olive oil is in the green bottle. I'm going to shoot this Thank for you and let you have a bit more uh, space. Yep, salt and pepper. And then Ben, we are going to... Oh, he's really looking like a chef, yeah? Ooh. Our very own Gordon Ramsay is yes. here. Can so you I get the... on that? Oh, I thought this is all for me. Uh, yeah, to, to pop on that. <laughs> uh, but before that, before we carry on with the mixing, Derek, it's important for us to remember to wash our hands. Yes. I uh, almost forget about this one. Every single episode, we start off by making sure that our hands are exceptionally clean. Mm -hmm. oh, fantastic. You know, this looks almost like sweet potato to me. Yeah, yeah, actually, it's, this soup, you can also use sweet potato in it. So you're like a roasted sweet potato soup? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can also put pumpkin as well. Oh, sorry, pumpkin. That's what we're using, but carrot as well. Ah, okay. Yeah, carrots are also a good uh, source of the what? Create. Lutein and beer lentin. And your gentine. Yeah. <laughs> right, so it's a good Thank source of that's good for the eyes, is yes. it? Yes. So what I'm gonna to pop to that is just crushed garlic. This is for the pumpkin soup. I'm oh. just gonna crush some garlic. So pumpkin itself has a natural sweetness in it, right? Yeah. Oh, you don't have to peel the skin? No, I'm gonna leave it in. Oh wow, this yeah, is the first time I've seen it like this. Yes. Yeah. Um, you can use the spoon and oh the spatula, the spatula also can. Mm -hmm. So what was on the plate? We have I see broccoli, I see um Pumpkin. Pumpkin. That's this. And this one. This one is bitter. Oh, actually, that's also the broccoli. Bro broccoli, yeah. Oh, it's the broccoli. Sorry. So I don't want to waste anything. That's what I was thinking. When I must be from broccoli. Yeah, don't waste the stem. Actually, oh, you can okay. just peel the skin of the stem because that's where the fiber is. Uh, and actually, oh, so you cook it right. It's also soft. Right? Yeah, yeah. I can just um. Oh, for a moment, I was either cucumber or like winter. No, <laughs> so bad sorry. with my vegetables. I don't like to waste anything. So I have a question now. One question. What is the if it's uh, better to um. Uh, steam these vegetables or put them inside in the oven. Oh. Do they lose any kind of like vitamins? Which one we? Oh yeah, yeah. That's because sometimes if you boil too long, you will. That's a good. Oh, you know, like a steam, question. steam. They said always steam is better. I don't know. I mean, yeah. when I'm here, what? Have <laughs> <That's laughs> this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah for the viewers out there, you might be yeah. asking the same question. Yeah. So when you steam mm. or you cook in the oven, it's just either moist heat or dry heat. But flavor wise, I feel I like. To roast it because you are locking in the flavor a bit more. So the okay. nutrients generally still stay good, la. Yeah, you know. but um, heat sensitive nutrients like vitamin C will be lost. Uh. Same thing like if you were to boil it, um, water soluble vitamins like your vitamin B or vitamin C will also be lost in the liquid. So so different methods have different advantages. In yes, that sense. but at the same time, say for example, I want to roast my broccoli. I I have lost the vitamin C that's heat, heat sensitive, but I can combine the dish with something else that hasn't been cooked. For example, I'm going to use capsicum that contains vitamin C in the salad later, oh. and I'm going to use it raw. So you have vitamin C in there. It's like a strategy on the yeah. field, isn't it? What yep. you place in and what you put yeah. in. <laughs> wow, yeah. so much science in it. Yeah, okay, so hang on, before we pop everything in, I'm just going to put in... <laughs> <laughs> okay, very fast, very fast. We are going to do the same thing, salt, pepper and oil. Oh, salt, pepper and, and oil. Can, pop it in. can I have it from you, Gurit? Yep. So olive oil, one of the best Five dollars. <laughs> I need two dollars. And then when you try mine, you'll be 25, you know? <laughs> oh, this one is expensive, ten dollars. <laughs> later you face past me, man. Okay. I will just treat you my dish later, you know? Uh, on Cheryl's effort. 
So it's just uh, <laughs> cross it around. How much pepper do I usually want? As much as you like. Oh, I like it peppery. You like it peppery, Joey? Yes, salty and peppery. Yeah, so that has more flavor. So this is going to be, yeah. what I imagine, salty, a little sweet. Yeah. So it's like savory and sweet at the same time. Yeah, because we are going to roast the pumpkin. It's going to, you know, concentrate the flavor. What's your favorite vegetable, Joey? Um, let's say this, uh, Oops. uh tomatoes. Tom oh, also a good source of vitamin C, right? Yes, yes. Mm. All right, so let's pop it in. Let's put this. Top. Uh, who's older here? Let's uh, see. Me, I think I'm definitely older. That one can go below. Okay. Yes. So is this is actually uh, our pre-seasoning for which uh, dish? This is for the roasted pumpkin soup. This is for the eye healthy salad. Oh, so we're jumping slightly forward because we need some time to have it in the oven. So one is for the soup and one is for the salad. Yes. Ah. Okay. Oh, so we're going to do this, well. mm. All right, so my broccoli and the pumpkin, because I cut it quite small, I'm going to give it about 15 minutes, and then after that, I'll check it. Uh, and then the pumpkin oh. might take about 20, well, the top, top roasted pump, mm. pump, pumpkin might take about 20 to 25 minutes. So oh. check that later. So it's always good to layer your cooking. Is it like how you're laying, you layer your trainings formats? Whenever, uh, even for the yes. little ones? Yes, you must have some uh, plan and so what gets them excited online? Actually, it's always exciting right? as long as they something is they involved with the boat, so like they soccer ball, they do some movement, and it's it. but some of them they can really do well. Uh, honestly, they pick up very very fast. You wow, know, they like could show. Yeah, they could show the small tricks, and you can see some of them really can do already. Uh, but we also let them to practice for a few days, then they show us, send us the videos and uh, hashtag us, and then we kind of. Uh, review it, review it, and you know, see if uh, you know any improvement or where they're doing mistakes, and then so we give them some uh, feedback as uh, in the coaching uh, points. But it's it's good. It's All right, good. so Cheryl, you're holding on this spot. Do I do we rub it and something appear? Um, huh? yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> so what's okay. this pot for? So I'm going to make the jam in the pot. Oh, jam. Yeah. So for the jam. Looking forward. Jam. Yeah. Mm. So, so which means we can also use the jam for our bread. Yes. Oh. Actually, I was going to serve it with um crackers and cheese oh. later. Um, you can also have it on meats, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have we'll a taste later. Fantastic. Yes. So what do we use So now? what goes in the jam? Goji berries, have you guys eaten this before? Oh, yeah. raw, you can try one. Mm, it's it's yeah. actually, if I'm not on sweet, right? Um, a little bit of, slight hint of bitter, I think. Is that? I like no, it. it's not sweet. I feel that it's from sort of sweetness in it. I feel more bitter. Mm. Mm. Kind of a little bit it's bitter. a little bit of bitterness. Mm. I don't taste the bitterness. I mean, maybe it's my palate. Mm. Mm. I'm a lovely guy, so I'm not bitter or anything. So, this one should pass. So, I'm going to use a quarter cup of goji berries, mm -hmm. quarter cup of cranberries. Mm -hmm. I am going to use some lemon and orange as well. So then, do we're going to test you on your strength. All right, now. come on, muscles. I go that. Yeah, see just the lemon and the orange. Fantastic. So let's see how much juice you can get on this one. Do we need to have a lot of juice, Cheryl, uh, Cheryl on this one? Um, yeah, I would finish the half an orange because my lemon is quite small and the skin is quite thick, so I'm going to use the whole lemon. Oh yeah, I just realized that you, know, <laughs> you just got cheated. Mm. <laughs> this one not ready. Sorry? Uh, the lemon is not ready. Yeah, mm. It's okay. not super ripe. Right, but we want to very thick, thick, thick one. Very thick yeah. one, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is mm -hmm. in this pot, just gonna pop in the dried fruit. Okay. Very nice. And then I like to keep popping the juice. Yeah. Mm. Getting involved already. Ooh, smell nice. Yeah. And then I've got some um frozen fruit. Mm. Uh, that are just defrosted in the fridge. So the reason why Cheryl tends to use frozen fruit is because it's more economical. Mm. And you can keep it on for a longer time. Well, you come about that, I also use the frozen fruit for the morning uh, juices. Oh, oh really? It's really good. So you get that chill you feeling. Buy, you buy, you can buy in the big box and then you just use it and, and you put it in all what you want to make and you just mix. So it's like in a smoothie. Yes, yeah, smoothie. Yeah, wow. in the morning is the best. Ah. Mm. After, after, after training, I mean, it's like, it's really good. It's uh, healthy. And, uh, to me, I, I feel, it's I like it. I like yeah. it. And it's a better way to enjoy sweet treats at home, isn't it? So if there's, there's a good alternative whereby you can make your own smoothies. And here also because of the weather and it's so uh, hot outside, so you're using this uh, frozen one is really keep you like cool, cool in your body. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Very much. 
So this is actually something that's already known to many of the viewers out there. It's about implementation, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, learning and putting it to use. Mm. So all we need to do is just give it a stir. Cook, actually, I like to put in one tablespoon of honey. Uh, this one, so this one, one maybe two or three. Uh, Make this sweet. I think one first. So if you like it sweeter, you can always add more. <laughs> sweet. If it's um, half, half the bottle, we'll be gone. Right? But okay. also because the dried fruit and the berries, the juices, they are all sweet. So oh. um, we can always add more. Maybe. So it really depends. You can just, if it's your own, because it's three of us, we can't be tasting it at the same time. So based on your own taste, mm. and if you find it to be uh, not too sweet, then you can actually add right. some more. Okay, so now that it's cooking, we let it sit for about 5 minutes. So it's supposed to caramelize? Thicken? No, um, I'm just letting the dried fruit soften. Oh. Mm. Then after that, we'll blend it up. Mm. So this jam there can be used in, um, in form like with the bread, or we can use with the vegetable we're cooking. And yeah, we're yeah, I'm going to use the jam to make a vinaigrette to put on the salad. Now. Also, we get to make our own vinaigrette today. And of course, I also assume we can have this in yogurt. Yes, yes. So it's a great mix that we can go yes. around right here. So how long is it going to take for this one to cook? About five to eight minutes. Five to eight minutes. So it's about time for us to... We will take the break and I'll see you soon. Oh yeah. No, 
<laughs> but it's true. It, it's the time for us to really uh, stay at home, and it's like almost like a warm up and some diet. It's really about having fun, isn't it? Always having fun. That's yeah, so the most important things. And and now it's also a fun part of the program. The best part. Yes. And what's gonna happen? Yeah. I'm gonna finish up the gym. You're right. But before that, I need to get my oh, stuff yeah, up yeah, from yeah, the yeah, oven. Yeah, so my yeah. Inside, right? yeah. So my um ingredients for the salad is done. Mm hmm. Ooh, Ooh nice. Okay, yeah. so that looks like that. That's the broccoli wow. and the pumpkin that's roasted. Oh, that's mine. Yes. Yeah, that's yours. It's and you like your vegetable grilled and baked, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so for the roasted pumpkin, um, mm -hmm. for the soup, I'm just going to leave it in for a while more. A while more, okay. Yeah. So you really have to really base on a gauge to see whether it's done well. Either. Yeah, you can look at how brown it is. You can poke at it to see whether it's soft, mm -hmm. you like it. Yeah. So really also again your preference, like much here, mm. softer, much here. Mm. Alright, that's my question. Yeah. I wanted to ask the same things. Oh, How do you okay. know when it's ready? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, meat, the real question yeah. I always yeah. before. Because always we put it like a minute, but I, I don't really uh, accrue to uh, right. ready or not. Mm. So it depends on the size. Can we just oh. take one and then? Just yeah, of course. That's the easiest. That, yeah. you, know, you just taste that. Alright. Yeah, it depends and on the size. Uh -huh. um, the smaller it is, the shorter time it takes to cook. Oh, so it really depends so on how fast the smaller the smaller is. You easier. want it faster. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so you can see that it's all softer. Mm-hmm. Um, smell. Smell. Yeah. Okay. Oh, very fruity flavor. Yeah. So oh, yes, you have to blend. I forgot. I thought it's almost Ah. Yeah. So, we have the blender here. I know you can work with the ball. Are you able to work with devices like that? This looks okay. like a hair dryer to me, you know? Let's see if we can Thank you. Okay. This one is a cheap, cheap, cheap one. <laughs> is it? Is it correct? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's yeah. correct. Place it in. Oh, you're going to add something additional? Yes, I'm going to add chia seeds because chia seeds is rich in it. Just put it on the plate. Oh, yes, yes. It looks like a pasta sauce. A bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to oh, add yes. some chia <laughs> seeds uh, because it contains omega-3, which is good for your eyes. Mm. Um, but also because it contains fiber and after it um, hits liquid for a while, mm -hmm. let it sit oh, for about expand. a couple of minutes. Yeah, it will expand and thicken it a little bit more. I mean, it's up to you if you don't want to add it, no problem. Chia seeds actually helps, you know, a lot of sportsmen, when they actually drink water, they like to place chia seeds inside. Is it a common practice in, with the footballers? Actually, most of the time, I, I drink water, like put a lemon. That's my, uh, I usually like to put a, a few slices of lemon and then keep it in, uh, in the water. Oh, so does lemon actually increase your metabolism rate or help with any... You know, some people say that when you drink lemon water, it helps with your dieting. Helps you burn some fat. I'm not sure how true that is. Evidence on having lemon in the water is not very strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but if it helps you, you know, because you like the flavor of lemon flavored water to hydrate, then by all means go for it. Oh, so it's just preference. Oh, the beef is here, which means our vegetable uh, is also almost ready. It's it's ready. Is ready. Yeah. So today is really what we call a simple to prep, very fast cooking format, mm. and you can actually concurrently do everything at the same time. You know. Mm. Uh, it's we have sweets, we have uh, all the pumpkins and there. Yeah, it's coming out soon. Would you guys like to taste? Yes, uh, okay, this is so I can't wait. <laughs> so, um... I didn't eat all day. Okay, time to eat, time to eat. So this is still hot. Normally I like to serve my jam cold, but of well, course you, you guys can try it. You <laughs> um, <laughs> I got a uh, higher CC, you know. Uh, you have a... Uh, it's called... This is a soccer ball. No, it's called uh, one pack. One pack. <laughs> Family pack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one okay. pack. So I prepped Ooh. another oh, wow. um, batch yesterday. Um, I chilled it. Mm. And this is one way that you can have it with cheese and crackers. So we have the freshly made puree. So we get to try it when it's just freshly done. And we have the one that's set in the refrigerator. Mm. So we get to know how it tastes like before and after. But it's always best to... Um, right. I like to have my jams chip, but it's really up to you. I never really had warm jam before, have you? I did, and it um, took me five minutes to run to the toilet. <laughs> it's quite so strong. Oh, it's, it's quite strong. strong. Yeah. Yeah, so, so we're going to just have a quick taste yeah, and we'll see what's check. the difference um, between the before yes. and after. Yes. Oh, I really like it. I can't wait, I can't wait, yeah. I can't wait. 
I've always oh, had um bottle version. Can you use this? Can for a spoon for you? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I use this. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna try the warm one first. I'm gonna take a big mouthful. We use with this or we use. Oh, with... I was going to put it on the cracker, but it's up to you. I've got this guy. Uh, he can't wait there. <laughs> Oh yeah, I just wanted to taste it. Oh, oh, am I too fast okay, again? No problem, no problem. Okay, okay, mm, actually, when it's warm, you actually taste the freshness of the fruit flavor. Mm. And um, there's a little bit of acidity in it, a bit sour because of it. I think you're using raspberries. Uh, I also use lemon juice as well. And lemon juice, so you really feel that palate settling in, you know, really nice flavor. Oh, okay. mm. I'm going to do it the cheese way. I'm going to just dip it in. This looks almost like a salsa sauce. I like cheese. <laughs> bon appetit, Amazing. brother. Amazing. Mm. Bon appetit. Amazing. Oh. Mmm. Okay, I really I like it when it's cold. I like it when it's cold. Later, I'll take this home. <laughs> By all means. <laughs> mm. And in Singapore, we call it tapao. Tapao, correct. Mmm. The best way to actually enjoy your food at home. Alright? So, let, let's have some more. This yeah, so good. go for it. Um, well, I prepare myself for the next dish, which is the roasted pumpkin soup. Roasted pumpkin soup. Do you like soup? Mm. That's a great way to kick off all your meals uh, with the soup over here. So let's get her ready while well, we still dive in on some <laughs> snacks over here. Mm. So, with the uh, Tokyo Breaker, yep. on your own, do you actually maintain any exercise regime? Actually, I do. Uh, <clears throat> basically, I try to stay active as I was before the this break. Honestly, I don't see any different to me. I, I still go exercise, run every day. Uh, I took a new sport. Basically, I kind of adjust adjusting myself in this all the changes in, uh, in, the, in the using as exercises. So I start uh, road biking. Cycling, oh. so so, but have you changed your time slot? Say so usually you have done it in the afternoon or yes. in the evening, but now because we have to have lesser people on the road, what, what yeah. are the timings there? Actually, yes, I, I use the, I, I was an early guy, so I go quite early for cycling. Uh, this morning I went 5.30 in the morning and it was just nice, quiet on oh, the road. Oh yeah, the it's very nice. fresh, yes. the road is quiet. It's quiet, no cars, no buses, no, and then um, when I go run, I, I try not to not to avoid the crowd, but it's, it's not much anyway. People on the street, mm. uh, late evenings, kind of evenings, I go for a good jog. And then, so it's try as live as normal uh, we can. Uh, yes. Honestly, we While maintaining the measures, yes, of course. we still keep it as normal of as course. we yeah. can, as best as yes. possible. And of course, in, uh, stay at home as much as you can. Um, most of the day, I stay at home uh, because I still work, I, I still uh, engage in. Uh, all this, what I mentioned before, with the videos and all this, my coaches and trying to uh, get them, um, get them um, work. This is what we are planning uh, for the week. Yep. Fantastic. Now I'm gonna get you to take another bite, and uh, Cheryl is back. What's gonna happen yes. over here? Do we need to clear this? Uh, we can set it aside. Yeah, let's. I, I will set it on the. Don't I'll take the. I'll take I'll the sauce sorry, for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's faster than me. You know? he took the whole entire. Yep. Please, and I have the warm sauce over here. Okay. So we are moving into a soup now. Yes. Um, we're gonna make the pumpkin soup. So I've got just a pot. My pumpkin is done, and it's nice and soft. So let's bring it forward yeah, let's to the center area. Pop everything in. I will probably get one of you guys to help me pick out the garlic skin. Garlic skin. Mm. Alright, Derek. This is your chance. Let's bring the chopping block over. Uh, no need lah. No need just, la. I'll just feel it. Okay, it la. La. let's see how he does it. Huh? Let's see if this is a marriage material or not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. You can always uh, put your mat to the test. Ah, I did it. Ah, oh, yes. Gorgeous. Let's place it on the, the, uh, the chopping board. Yeah. yeah. What's this? Chicken stock. Oh, chicken stock. Do you mm. make it from scratch or do you use those instant stock? No, I use an instant stock. But of course, if you want to make it, uh, even yeah, healthier, so, right? Yeah, from bones, um, chicken carcasses. Don't mm. put anything to waste. Yeah, you can also do that. Oh, he's doing a great job. Very yes, focused. Very good. Okay, can very you normal. me put everything into the oh. pot? Please? Okay, I think it's it's very so. This but, uh, easy. but uh, don't worry. You just I just drink coffee and enjoy it. Just enjoy it <laughs> for you. <laughs> isn't it amazing when you have a legend preparing your meal for you? This is this is one of the advantages, isn't it? <laughs> of being a part of this show, right? 
And we, of course, at this point, remember to like, share, and comment if you have any questions for this episode uh, with regards to recipes, any changes that you can vary over here. Please do remember to comment right below and we will answer your questions in the episodes to come. Remember to like and share because we're still giving away our free Subway meals and you might just get lucky. You know, um, we had a question posted by Mandy uh, a couple of episodes ago with regards to avocado. And um, you know, Cheryl, there was a question that was asked, how do we know that we have picked a good piece of avocado? Actually, sometimes it's quite tricky. Um... You might get lucky sometimes, but sometimes Do you, you might get feel the lucky. texture, mm. like when you hold on to it, like the softness or the color tone, is there anything that we can share? Yeah, I generally will look at the color. So the darker it is, the more black, and the softer it is, the riper it tends to be. So thank you, Mandy, for your kind question. Mm. So um, easiest part, pour everything in, what do we do now? Yes, so um, I've got about 500 mils of chicken stock. Mm. Uh, of course, if you like your soup thick, you can add more stock. So I'm just going to pop that in. So, more stock for a thicker soup. Oh, uh, sorry. If, if you like your soup a little bit thinner. I uh, didn't you know how. Oh, sorry. <laughs> for a moment, moment, I was confused. <laughs> Why would you add more and it become thicker? No, no, no. The other way around. Thank you. I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> Actually, I make a good uh, support very torch. Good. Oh, yeah. Very good. I take the minutes very well. <laughs> yes. So, of course, if you want to make it a little bit creamier, you can add some cream or you can add some milk. Um, evaporator milk? Yeah, you can evaporate the milk, which is what I have on hand. Um, but of course, we've got regular milk. See, so as we work with our colleagues uh, on the show, we start to realize they have unique preferences. Yeah. And for Cheryl, you tend to like to use evaporated milk. Yeah, right? I like it because it's very shelf stable. So you can have like a bunch of milk on the side, or even UHT milk, shelf oh, stable. Yeah. So you, you don't have to rush to the shop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so all you need to do is just to bring it up to the boil. Mm -hmm. And then later, you go and blend it. Oh, blend it again? Yeah. So we can't just keep stirring. Um, stirring. If you like your soup chunky, as how it is right now, um, then you can just uh, I, stir. That's I, what I do. Yeah, yeah. I do do, stay like this. Oh. Yeah, you like to, uh, but then they yeah, become uh, much uh, much more If like, you want it smooth. Smooth yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's a, it's a, if you like it milky and smooth, then you blend. If you like it with a bit more a uh, soup base with chunky bites, then you can just manually stir that. Mm. Wow. So really, there's so many methods, isn't it? And bread. Yes, I've got bread. croutons on the side. Oh, very bread. Yeah, you can yes. have bread. Okay, so we're going to blend this in short moments time, but you know, we just want to congratulate you. You can see the softball over here. And of course, uh, <laughs> Cheryl will be on with us for this episode as a final appearance because she will be going on a leave to get ready for the little one to come along. Yeah. And of course, with this circuit breaker, what are your plans for your staying at home, getting ready and you know, getting well rested? Yeah, actually, um, the first thing that comes to mind is to settle my athletes too, so to make sure that they are well taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, I need to also make sure that I am well rested, preparing the baby's room, preparing what I need for the baby. And, so, so yeah. it kind of gives you really a chance to fully focus yes. on the family portion, isn't it? So that's the amazing part. And you can pre-register. I can tell you one uh, good uh, advice. I have four, so uh, forget about your life after the, uh, after the baby. <laughs> no, I, I also have, oh, I start also have four. Sleeping as much you can. <laughs> good advice, Master yes. mm. yes. Sleep start. as much you want uh, yes. now. Mm. Good luck and after. Uh, okay, so what's next? Okay, it's ready to blend. So, mm. you just... The colour is quite nice, eh? Mm. Again, you have a light whiff of the fragrance. Yeah. Do you have to pour this into a big bowl? Uh, actually, we can do it in this pot. Oh, I, we can blend it in the pot. Yeah, wow. you can blend it in the pot. Just Again, so that for me, the professional will blend. Oh, okay. Just to keep it safe, um, keep the stick immersed inside. Because oh, immersed, if you bring huh? it to the surface, it will start to spread. Oh, you don't have you a base to sit on? Keep the stick here, immersed in inside. the liquid. Inside. Okay, just yeah. put it all the way in. Oh, yeah. Hi. Thanks lucky for that. <laughs> lucky I didn't wear my uh, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton <laughs> shirt. So, viewers, this is a very important tip, especially for those of you who are trying this for the first time at home because it's hot, it's warm, warm and uh, we'll stay still to keep apart. Yeah. Just make sure that the blending is all the way down so that it's yeah. flat. Uh, uh,
Fantastic! Oh, so you can always prepare either additional chicken stock or more than just like creating the stock. Okay, share on the same shapes. We see whether we have more stock. Yeah, it smells really good. Actually, when you blend it, the, the flavor actually yes. releases. You know, when you boil it, not so much. <laughs> this is the first time I see a woo from Cheryl. Uh, not because of you, because of me. <laughs> Blendering. Um, so the aura, the aura. <laughs> so if you check out the soup. She just got me excited because of the mm. Sounds like it's going to be fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Then could, do you mind? Um, just pouring in? Yeah. Okay, I'm not. You can you just finish this up. Mm, no, no, it's, it's okay. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, it's a little bit thick to my liking. Um, can add all of it. So oh. I think in all it was about 700 mils of water. Alright. I think I had about 700 grams of pumpkin as well. Alright, so let's dish it up and get some bowls. Okay, we already, yes. So we had like a starter. We're now going on to something like an appetizer. And uh, I can't wait for the taste test, you know. The, the jam was fantastic. Uh, now with the power of Durik. We're going to yep. have a very interesting flavor when it comes to our pumpkin soup. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much, brother. So if you want, um, we've got I'm here, pepper I'm here. on the side. Alright, so we're going to add some pepper to give it a little bit of an additional touch. Mm -hmm. Would you like some? Yes, please. Alright, and I'm going to shower it with croton. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow! Amazing! Wow, this is so amazing. It's almost restaurant standard, bro. It's really good. What, what do you feel about the uh, soup over here? I mean, the texture is fantastic. I think it's, uh, it's just perfect because it's um, not, too, not too what we call watery. Mm. It's just nice. Just nice. Mm. Thick enough to really enjoy, mm. enjoy the soup. It's like a soup puree. So it really rests so well on your palate. Then it keeps your tummy this nice warm feeling when it goes right in. So, on a rainy day, I think this is going to be a super dish to enjoy in front of the television with the family. Wow. Yeah. So, if you notice, I didn't add additional salt to it because my chicken stock that was pre-made is already salted. Mm. So, hence, it's quite important for you to taste. And if you don't like, you know, if you want it a little bit saltier, you can always add more. I cannot stop. It's so good. <laughs> oh, we can see that. No. <laughs> So to uh, you know, during uh, the students and pupils, daddies, mummies, you can actually have the dish prepared. And when they're watching this video, they can just watch it. Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> so that one after, after they finish training, then we can enjoy. Oh, because they will be doing the food sessions yes. on on the live stream. Yep. Oh, I, I thought it would be more like a tutorial, and I want them to be in also engaged uh, and um, also not just the kids but also parents. Yeah, this is truly when you bring the classroom to life, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And, um, it's kids is also it's good to have a parents around to mm. also doing I think they get more motivated and uh, you know yeah it's a family it's like a and a bonding also so correct and not the like a cooking like 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 us, we was cooking here like a really family bonding correct yeah. so they can blend they can add in the croutons so fun yeah, yeah. so we are done with the jam we are done with the puree and of course this is where we're going to give you that chance to uh, hang around with us because we will be coming back very 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 shortly for recipe number Three. That was a my line and he took it. <laughs> <laughs>
come to our third dish for today yeah. and what that dish is we're doing an eye healthy salad eye healthy salad you look uh, at don't look at him because it doesn't look anything healthy but anyway <laughs> i'm getting healthy like oh, okay <laughs> you're trying it you know, yeah <laughs> okay so what's in this salad um mm -hmm. was the broth is the broccoli and um, pumpkin that we pre-roasted earlier ah this one was done by during that one yes that's yes. minutes right yes so now i'm going to add other things to it that's great for your eye health um but before that i'm going to just cook off some soba soba so i like to add some carbohydrates to the salad um i'm using soba but if you like pasta oh. chickpeas so um, it's like a salad noodle yeah yeah a yeah. noodle salad right. so i think what um dr rico showed in the earlier episodes if you caught is to twist, twist and drop just drop it Oh, so it spreads out nicely. Italian style. Italiano! <laughs> yeah, I like to use soba because it's really quick to cook. Yes, and um, um, it, it's tofu. really quite nice. La. How about tofu? Mm. Yeah, if you want to add tofu from um, what you learned from earlier uh, Lian's episode, yes. remember vegan, vegan source of protein, yeah, you can mm. of course add tofu. But tofu is not a replacement of um, soba because it's a protein. And so far, it's more like carbohydrate. Mm, see, I'm yeah. learning well also. Huh? Yeah. So again, it depends on what you are lacking at yep. that stage. Like. So if you are really going for the pump up. Protein is good for bringing up muscle, right? Yes, for recovery. Yes. Um, especially after strenuous exercise. Mm, and carbohydrates will be more for energy. Fuel. Mm. Mm. So you need more training. I don't need muscle. more carbohydrates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already. It doesn't look like. I don't need, I think I need the protein. You need I'm a good. balance diet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, then, could you help me set the timer for 5 minutes, please? Okay. Do I know how to do 5 minutes on the timer? No, the one on the white. The white one on the fridge. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Alex, you can help me with yes. the vinaigrette. So we're going to use the goji berry jam that we made earlier to create a vinaigrette for the salad dressing. Oh, that will be set. Oh, let's just keep it together. Oh. Yes, thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So in here, mm -hmm. I will put about 5 tablespoons worth of jam. Right. Also, this was a jam that we made earlier. Mm. Oh, you're going to use this in the salad too? Yes. Oh, so there's so many functions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex, Alex. Yeah, Fantastic. 5 teaspoons. Tablespoons. Tablespoons. Yeah. You don't want to five. Yeah, that's okay. You yeah. can adjust it however Sorry. sweet you like. <laughs> then I will add the olive oil. So, oh, so probably half a cup. Base? This is the dressing for the, the dressing salad. Base. Oh, mm. Half a cup. Half a cup. I'm using a jar because then it's very easy for you to shake it up and if you are you've got extra you can always leave it in. So if you miss your bubble tea more. and you never had your bubble tea for the last couple of weeks, it's okay, you can imagine yourself shaking mm. up. Yeah. Alright, I need to get lemon. Give me a sec. Okay. Pop it, come! Oh, what a catch, what a catch, what a catch. <laughs> I didn't want you much. Catch of the day. Catch of the day. Fantastic. My man, do you need a knife or no? <laughs> Wife is okay or no? <laughs> so you can just, you can start with half a lemon first. Okay. Mm. So we're going to use the entire lemon or just half? 
You can start with half first, and if you like it a little bit more tart, you can of course add more. Oh, I think I, I, I kind of like it just less tart. Because mm. I feel cringe, you know, when I have my too much yeah. lemon or but sour. But usually for a dressing, you, you want it the flavours to be strong, so that when it's mixed with the salad... Oh, so you actually have to bring out when it's... Yeah, bring out the flavours as well. Mm. Okay, to that, I will add about a teaspoon of salt. Do this a lot at home, do it. Um, no, this kind of, yeah. Well, I a very simple one. This one is super complicated for me, but I'm learning. Yeah. And, I, and that's what we like, right? Always learning. Yes. Never stop learning. Once that's I have to be like a real chef, like Gordon. He teach me one day. No, I must make it nice mm. and neat, yeah? Yep. Yeah. So this is my yeah. rubbish bowl. We can pop everything in. Yeah? Okay. Mm. Okay. Then add one. Have you added the salt yet? Yes. Salt, no. Salt, no, salt, salt, yeah, yes. 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 Okay, so we can cover it. Shake it up. Yeah. Now you do the shaking dance. Ah, uh, the sugar is already in the jam. Um, because when it's sweet, okay. Add a little bit of honey in there. Shake it up first, and if you oh prefer my. it sweeter, you can of course add some honey. Too. Ready? Where's the music? Lucky I bought Jimmy. I mean, used to. Yeah. It's like Right. So you got a vinaigrette. Was it? This is a. What do you call this? A jam? Like a jazz dressing, yeah. yeah. You want to taste it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I can imagine it to be sour sweet. Mm. Sour sweet. So, have a taste. You can feel free to adjust. Like, um, if you want it more sour. Yeah, or... you want it more sweet. Mm. Perfect. Perfect. Magnifique. Okay. So, awesome. We've got the dressing done. Mm -hmm. um, over here, I've got. Capsicum. It looks like a pumpkin. Ah, it's an orange capsicum. Oh, it's not a mini pumpkin. <laughs> well, you guys want to cut it? Oh, yes, I like to recut this episode. Oh, my. Okay. It's so rare for me to be able to be the one to direct him to take the action, no? <laughs> so, let's see. Well done. But he's actually quite seasoned in even cutting. I think he cuts better than I. Oh, yeah. What do I have to do? Cut? Cut it. Yeah, just cut it into pieces because eventually we'll be using it. Um, to add to the salad. It's part of the salad, yeah? Yeah. Ah, he is very good. Did I sign uh, insurance for cutting my fingers? <laughs> I don't <laughs> worry. Remember. You are obviously yeah, a professional on this one. Nicely cut and ready. Ah, yes. well, five minutes, just so nice. So it's done. Is that, oh, so the five minutes is for the sofa. Yeah. I wasn't listening, so then sorry. Can you check whether the sofa is cooked? How do I know? Can I throw it at the wall again? Like how uh, we do it with pasta? No. Yeah, it is. It is. It, it is. Okay, so it's see. nice and soft. Yeah. You can feel it. Awesome, thank you. I eat soba so I roughly know how it feels like. Mm. I like soba. So easy to cook meal. So I'm going to drain it. Mm -hmm. Actually, you can keep it sliced. You don't have to dice it. So that okay. when it strips, when you eat the salad, you, eat this. Mm. Uh, you, you get more of the capsicum. Uh, very nice. Do we put the capsicum inside the... Uh... You can place it on the plate. Uh, told so you I'm born to be a chef. All right. This is how the chef... Born! Everything with the kitchen knife. Later, I'll uh, pass the kitchen knife to somebody. <laughs> oh, you're doing a very good job. Okay, so I don't want the soba to be stuck together, so I'm just going to add a little bit of oil. Also, oh, there's a little tip over there because whenever you cook soba, sometimes they tend to you know, stick together, right? Yeah. You let it rest too long. I usually, I actually, I usually put uh, olive oil together with cooking. Oh, really? with the pasta also same, so it doesn't doesn't stop stick. Mm. There's like an old traditional they told me that you need to put it in cooking yeah. with the water. They, they never really stick. Yeah, oh. another There's option. Also, yeah, yeah, to do that okay. after. Okay, so we've got ingredients set. So what we've got the veggies. Mm -hmm. Um, we've got the past well pasta or soba. Mm -hmm. We've got capsicum. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So earlier on, I created some. Uh, Salmon, mm -hmm. which contains omega-3, which is great for your eyes and, and your brain. brain. Yeah, so all I did was to season it with salt pepper. I sliced off a bit of lemon and wrapped it up in this baking paper and just popped it in the oven 200 degrees for about 20 minutes. Oh, so this is like an additional dish that's off this episode that you pre-made. Yeah, I pre-made it. But that very simple. Huh? Yeah, um, but also, you know, salmon is one protein option, but if you want, if you want to go vegan, that's what Durek suggested. Tofu? Ah. Chicken? Mm. Mm, actually, up to you. 
So it really is up to your own creativity. Yeah. Yeah. Cooking is that unique, right? Yeah. Everybody has a different uh, bite. You know? Yeah, exactly. So now we've got everything done um, mm -hmm. and we're ready to plate. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get you guys to help me plate it in two different ways. So maybe. This is a challenge. Oh, this is a challenge. I, I, I really am yeah. worried when it comes I'm a winner, not challenge, I'm a winner. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I must win. I have not won. Okay. I have not won a single episode, and this is a real. Oh, well, I'm lucky. <laughs> okay, and um, I'm feel for you. Okay. <laughs> uh, not forgetting the spinach as well, which is also great for your eyes. So now the viewers are going to start just voting for the guest that comes on for every episode to win, right? Because <laughs> I haven't won yet, so I better start winning. Plus, better at cooking, better looking. What else I can say? I am better than eating. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's good at something. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to plate it two ways. One on a plate and one in a jar. So the why, the reason why I want to do it in a jar is so that, you know, it's like me prep. Uh, so you bring it to work? Yeah, if you want, you can prep it. Prep, prep a whole bunch of this and then every day you can take one to work. Oh, okay. mm, and then at work, you can just scoop it up into a plate and voila. Because it's set. better looking. Better at plating, you get the jar. <laughs> okay. Anything? Up to you. <laughs> and I'm better at eating, so I use the plate. So that once it's ready, I can eat. Yeah. Alright, so, so we I, just plate it anyway. We yeah, plate. so we can use this. I've had another um, uh, vinaigrette made earlier. Okay. So by all means, go for oh, it. Oh, I have a vinaigrette. Oh, yay. Alright, so let's start plating up. And you can lay it inside the gear. Yes. I so, faster, faster, faster again. So hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh, give come on. A tip. Oh, what, what, what? oh, usually in the jar, if you were to plate it, I normally will put the dressing below so that oh, it when doesn't you soak. Out. Yeah, it doesn't Good soak one. the other ingredients like the salad. Leaves. Oh yes, yes, yes. So it doesn't. See, I'll be do last. Because I'm thinking, okay, that's yeah, what I would, I would do too. So it's a very good yeah. tip for yourself. And yes. when you really want to remove it and pour it over a bowl, it also naturally flows over the ingredients. Yeah. Very smart tip, so mm. take it home. Mm. Right. Okay, I've been watching so many of my competitors oh. plate up. So it's about time for me to learn how to. They don't cheat, wait for me. Plate nicer. Don't worry. I don't think I'm going to be that fast because I'm really not good in plating. What do I have over here? Capsicums. Yeah. Then we have to name our 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 dish. Yeah. And then this time around, I'm gonna try my best to see if I can win. No chance. And then, of course, if you want to have a little bit of crunch, um, you can add some nuts. Oh, crunch! Oh, will give an additional texture. Mm, I like to have some crunch in it. So, God, what a messy why? thing is that? What a messy that thing is there. Mm. I wonder how they actually have such short time to come up with such nice plating formats, and mine always just looks like what I would just eat off the table. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Finally, I made a friend on the show. <laughs> We are now not football players, we are the messy in the kitchen. More or less, yes. Use as much as we can. Oh, I'm starting to feel that I have minimal talent in plating. Uh, I will say no comment. <laughs> when I look at yours too, I feel like I'm at home. Oh. Oh my gosh, how much you put it? Okay, I'm done. Oh goodness, I'm really not talented in plating. I wonder you call yourself messy. <laughs> That's a cool messy dish. Yeah. Look at this. Look Alright, and there you go, you got two versions. Ta -da! Ta -da! Ta -da! Okay, so we are supposed to name our dish, right? You go first. What do you name your jar? Oh, that's a good uh, the mixture. Mm. <laughs> the mixture. The mixture. Why? Where's the water mixtures? <laughs> It's a lot of mixtures. It looks like a can of worms. <laughs> mixture, yes. <laughs> That's why the kids will love it. <laughs> and uh, I'm always good with names. I may not be good in plating, but mine, once you hear it, you'll know why. It's called Flame of the Forest. I love it. <laughs> uh, right, it looks like, right? It looks like, right? It looks like, it looks like my whole forest is on fire. Very uh, colorful. Uh, 
super cowboy, uh, uh, super messy. So now you understand why he looks like that. Yep. A slim. Of so, so I'm going to pass it on to you, the jar and the plate. Yeah. You take a look at it. You. you can once again comment in the you know segment below, the comment box below, and think whether it is going to be Derek or myself. Mm. That's the winner, and we will unveil this in the next episode because you have a chance to walk away with a female from Subway. Mm. Alright, so take a look, compare. I think I'll give some comments first so they give some clue, maybe. Huh? Remember what I told you before. Mm. <laughs> yes. Who is the winner? Right, it's time I give you. Yeah, better not say anything. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Fine, all right, no clues for the viewers. But again, um, you know, this is the last episode that uh, Cheryl is going to be with us. And we really want to take this chance to thank all our viewers for staying at home. We're going to have a chance for them to, you know, shout out to the viewers out there. You know, for Derek Manusha first, for your students and pupils. Who are well, I would like to say the, uh, for the kids that are staying at home and my academic kids and all kids in Singapore, uh, stay home, stay safe. Um, um, do your homework, don't forget, be good with uh, your parents and, um, and um, try to do some exercises in, uh, in your um, space, in, the, in your rooms and um, we we'll see you soon. Yes. And Sharo, anything you want to let you, you spoke to the moms in a couple of episodes ago. Mm. How about to the athletes that you're going to you know, help out while you're going to be away in a short moment's time? Yeah, to my athletes, um, I hope you take the chance now to you know, rest, get enough rest. Um, and train according to your program uh, but not forgetting to nourish yourselves well using perhaps some of the recipes that you've learned on the show mm. um, because eventually when you actually get back to training then you'll be ready to go. That's right and of course uh, myself from the events industry we know that now is a time where we really have like a long haul holiday let's stay positive move forward together I hope that uh, some of the recipes that you get to enjoy here you can cook it at home let's get our health right our positions right, processes ready, and move forward through this entire period together as mm. one, right? So thank you once again for joining us on Watch Your Cooking. This is once again our legendary Derek. Thank you. Cheryl from SSI and Ben Logan saying, see you next time.